Hey everyone. Well, I haven't made a video for a while, so I thought I'd take a video of this, uh, this old planer that I bought. I think I bought it about ooh, three years ago, three, four years ago now. I haven't ever got around to setting it up or using it. It's pretty old. I just got the truck to set her down here. It's all made of cast. Nothing steel here. This is all cast. There's some welding here, I think. You can tell where they welded it. Cast welding area yeah, right here. You don't really want anything to break on here. I'm going to use for oil. You just soak this pad in here with oil. Here's the, here's the, here's the blades where they, they plane on the side of the board. Here the, the board would come through here and it would plane the sides and go through those rollers off the back. Here's your main, here's your main blades right in there somewhere. See a chunk of wood there. There's your grab roller, pressure roller. It's got those little, those little uh, bumps on there to help grab it and pull it, push it through. Oh yeah, here's a feed roller here too. Yeah, well, I'd like to get it running sometime. I don't have any, I don't have any logs on my mill. I haven't used my mill really that much in the last two winters. Actually, there's my log pile. It's all for firewood now. There used to be a whole bunch there, but I saw... Uh, I'd say about half of them. The rest is gone for firewood. They they sat too long. They sat in the, in the woods for about two years, and then when I hauled them here, then I hurt my back and I couldn't saw, so... Just one thing piled up after another, and that's the way they are now. There's still like a one or two big logs in there. Still wet here. The water from the runoff and the melting snow. See, that's a big one. But you can see how they they would have barked. It would have been okay. That's rot. But uh, some of them I sawed right deep inside and they were okay right inside. Here's another big one right there. Really huge ones here. The ones that right underneath were not too bad too. And I moved these this winter to get them off. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna cut them cut them all up into blocks like that there and just split them for firewood. Yeah. And here's the motor that goes with the planer. It's a Cummins. Non-turbo. Natural. Comes with the hand clutch. Initially, I just really wanted this pulley, and then I'd use a power takeoff shaft off the tractor, but I bought the motor and everything. Except there's something wrong with it. There is oil, uh, no, antifreeze getting into the oil. So, uh, it's either a head gasket or... Or a pump, it has this, this, it's a different injector pump on here. That's it right there, Cummins fuel system. Could be out of time, and I've, I've heard some guys say that it'll do that. Yeah. Anyway.
Here's my sawmill. It's a, it's a Norwood model. Bought it a few years ago. Well, more than a few. Probably about, oh geez, I can say a good 10 to 12 years ago. I'm not going to take the tarp off right now, but yeah, hasn't been used for about two years. I, that's my good logs right there. The tree fell down, so I cut them up. And I have it. I'll saw them up here, and then I'm going to move all this stuff out of here. I don't want it here no more. Should be able to get a few 2x4s from that. Anyways, that's all for now. Take care.